Love them or hate them, traffic cameras are popping up all over our region. Kingsport, Mount Carmel, and Johnson City all have red light speed cameras in place or plan to install them in the future. Jonesboro's camera along 11E inspired a protest today led by an ETSU senior with a passion for the U.S. Constitution. Digital journalist George Jackson reviews his objections and the town's response. That's tonight's Community Connection. The mood, lighthearted for a red light protest. The arguments behind it, anything but. Jonesboro erected traffic cameras along the 11E bypass this January, spent one month in warning phase before citations hit the mail in February. The town has been paid um, right at $10,000. Craig Ford, town director of public safety, says it's not about the money. Jonesboro started this program to keep its residents safe, period. You take that resident population of 4,500 people, and we're running about 30,000 cars a day on 11E. Matthew Jeffers, a student activist and constitutional enthusiast, views that kind of traffic in a positive light. My aunt works up here. She owns Bloomer's Florals. And basically, she's told me that she has known about a dozen customers that have come in and told her they're taking the old highway to avoid having to go through these uh, revenue traps. This effigy, Red Flex, owner of those traffic cams. Jeffers thinks the Australia-based company has access to too much information. Driver's license number, their social security number, their address, their telephone number, all that private information in the hands of a private foreign corporation. That's very disturbing. But Ford says the town couldn't afford the lights without them. Each one of these cameras, at least we have been told, cost approximately $100,000. So. The goal of this protest, to raise awareness, generate a petition, and put pressure on the board of mayor and aldermen. In this town, we've got three, four, five, six hundred people, residents, registered voters, that will vote you out of office unless you listen to them. In Jonesboro, George Jackson, 11 Connects News. Jeffers adds Jonesboro's camera violates the Fourth, Fifth, and Eighth Amendments in order, the right to privacy, due process, and excessive fines. Tennessee's Attorney General Robert E. Cooper disagrees. In fact, he addressed the question in an opinion drafted last November.